I'm ready. Alright, I got A. I'll get B or C. Alright. One, two, three. <laughs> kind of. Hello everyone, today's video is going to be talking about Ghost Recon Breakpoint and my first impressions. Now big thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video, they flew me out and I was able to get my hands on some early footage and early gameplay, and uh, yeah, I'm coming at you now with my impressions from that play session, um, and just generally what I think of the game so far. So first off, what is Breakpoint? Breakpoint is a tactical looter shooter like The Division, but it's more rooted in reality. Uh, the story is basically a PMC group has overrun and controls a research island called Aurora, and it's weaponizing the drones. Uh, you're going there as a ghost to recon what's going on, investigate what happened, but on approach you're actually shot down, so now your mission is to survive, scavenge weapons, and figure out what happened on the island alone. So a couple warnings right off the bat, this is not the typical first person shooter uh, kind of milsim game that I usually play on this channel. It's not a truly hardcore game, it's a third person triple A tactical looter shooter. So try not to trigger yourselves uh, too much during this video and keep that in mind when I'm talking about the pros and cons and what I liked and disliked about this game. So what did I like about this game? I like that it's a triple A shooter. It feels like a triple A shooter, it looks like a triple A shooter, and it sounds like a triple A shooter. A lot of money went into making this game and you can tell. it runs well, it looks great, and it sounds amazing. Um, these are things that aren't really present in a lot of early access shooters, the primary one being the performance. Uh, it's just so nice playing a game and not having to worry about frame rates or crashing or any of that early access nonsense. It's just awesome. It's a smooth experience, and I really do enjoy that because I don't get that often in the genre. Now, it's also a breath of fresh air playing this game. It's a tactical shooter, but it has a ton of RPG elements, and it's important that you don't forget that this is meant to be an RPG tactical looter shooter. It's got these RPG elements, and I think it appeals to a good amount of people because a lot of people like RPG games. I love RPG games. I love Tarkov because it has some of those RPG elements, the quests and such. Um, I'm an old WoW player, so going into Ghost Recon Breakpoint and being able to choose your class and put talents into certain areas and have these kind of gamey, arcadey uh, RPG mechanics mixed with tactical looter shooter mechanics, it was a lot of fun for me. It's something fresh and new and something that was kind of nostalgic and gave me a blast from the past. So I think that a lot of you, if you enjoy RPG games and the tactical shooter genre, you're going to enjoy Breakpoint. So it's just a great difference from the games that I currently play to Breakpoint, and I was enjoying that variety. Now, I said before that it's similar to Division with loot mechanics and with the whole open world-ish mechanics and the quest and RPG stuff. The thing that I enjoy more about Breakpoint than the Division is that the enemies aren't bullet sponges. Aside from the drones, like, you can one-shot all the human characters uh, by shooting them in the head. It's a lot more rooted in reality. You're not dumping mag after mag into individual soldier. And that's just something that drove me absolutely crazy in The Division. Breakpoint, on the other hand, has a little bit more of a hardcore push to it and feel to it, which I really do enjoy. And then the drones, adding the drones in, it doesn't break the immersion too much, and being able to shoot at mechanical objects and mag them into them, it makes it feel a little bit more believable. It's a, it's a good design choice to kind of keep that harder difficulty and like boss mechanics kind of stuff in the game without pulling the player out of that fantasy and out of that immersion by making, you know, humanoid players or, or characters bullet sponges where you have to just dump mag after mag into them. So that was something that I really did appreciate. Moving on from there, the medical system is actually pretty impressive. Now it's nothing close to any uh, of the Milson medical systems or even like the Arma medical system and stuff like that. It's very basic. You get hurt, you need a bandage to fix your move speed and so on and so forth. Very basic medical system. But the fact that we're seeing these in more mainstream games is great because it means that Hopefully, over time, we can start pushing in more realistic and more hardcore mechanics into mainstream games. Um, and I think the public might enjoy that, because we've been running around and jumping off cliffs and doing all this crazy stuff in arcade games with no consequence. And having this even bare bones medical system in Breakpoint, it adds a lot of consequence and a lot of uh, thinking to your actions. Because you're not an invincible dude just running around, tanking shots and, and dropping bodies. You actually have to kind of manage your equipment, manage your health pool, and make sure that you aren't putting yourself in bad positions. And I love the decision making process in tactical shooters. That's kind of what makes tactical shooters tactical shooters, is that you kind of have to use your brain and, you know, make tactical decisions. 
I also love the attention to detail and the licensed weapons and gear. It makes things much more relatable, much more realistic. There's a ton of options, uh, not just for gear, but for cosmetics, tattoos, uh, weapons, and armor and attachments. There's just so much stuff, and it's all like licensed. It's proper looking. It's good 3D modeling, and it's cool and relatable to see something in the game that you know in real life and see it in there and be able to put it on your character instead of some like mismatch or off brand just to get by licensing rules in other games. Like it's really cool to see the actual actual item in game. So talking about customization, the weapon attachment system in the game is pretty robust. You can mess with the rails, the optics, uh, the underbarrel, you can mess with the camo, all that cool stuff that we kind of have been seeing more in shooters. Um, that's all in there. And another thing that I really have to note is that I really appreciate that when you use a two times magnifier on a one times optic in the game, you can actually toggle between the two. Like that is a function that I absolutely love because I don't really run anything else other than that. Uh, the ability to switch from two times to one times rapidly is fantastic. I'm so glad that's in the game and that they're paying attention to that detail instead of just, you know, calling it a two times magnified optic sight and not letting you change the magnification. Now, the last thing I'm going to note about Breakpoint that really surprised me was the PvP. Two. Got, Target got one. Target down. There's another one out there. Got two. There's a third out there. Oh, uh, yeah, up, up, up high. Marked. Yeah, I'm going around. I'm going around. Go to the front. I'm going to go behind. He's pulling back? Kind of? I can't tell. He's I'm going around the rock. He's coming around back. No, push push his front I'm side. I'm pressing the back. him. I got, LMG. No, I got the back. Ignore push that thing. Side. Ignore that thing to the left. All right. He's coming around. He's, pushing, he's coming around. He's, he's coming around. They're all over here. All of them are over here. Yep. One on. The PvP, when I looked at it before, kind of looked a little slow, it looked a little stale, but after playing a couple rounds, you can't really describe, it's kind of like watching a uh, squad. The pacing is, is all over the place, and as a player, you really feel that. The low intensity moments when you guys are moving into position, uh, versus the high intensity gunfights, and even like the clutches and when it gets down to like 1v1s and stuff like that, you don't really feel it watching it as much as you do playing it, but the tension and kind of energy swings throughout a match in PvP for Breakpoint is absolutely incredible they did a great job with the pacing there's just enough downtime to make the high intensity moments feel high intensity and it's not boring it's it's really incredible the addition to revive players and to swing matches that adds so much tension and competition into a pvp match it's actually incredible because you'll have 4v4 and then eventually it'll get down to maybe 2v1 but then that one player will revive like three people and now it's a 3v2 and it'll just go back and forth and you're constantly having these um, moments where you're shouting at your teammates you know trying to get people up and try to complete the the objective and it's just a lot of fun seeing that tension switch because you'll think you're behind and you'll jump ahead or vice versa and it's just a lot of fun so i really have to commend um breakpoint for actually making a decent pvp mode because i'll be honest with you i didn't really expect much out of a third person pvp mode he's in he's in right, right here I, I got him nice 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 job all enemy forces have been eliminated now that pretty much covers all the main things about what I liked about Breakpoint. Now we're going to move on to a couple of things that I didn't really enjoy. Uh, first off, there's a couple of game decisions made to remind you that it's an RPG game, right? Because it can't just be all tactical shooter and it's not just all RPG. It's a mix of the two. So a couple of the decisions are like when you're pushing onto the island in the beginning of the game, in most RPGs, you start with nothing and you have to work to become this strong player and, and get all this cool gear and learn all these cool skills. Uh, well, the same thing in Breakpoint. You start off and you're entering the island and you don't have any gear and you don't have any talents or skills and stuff like that. And it kind of takes you away from that tactical side of the game. Because once again, in real life, if you're an operator and you're going in on a spec ops mission, you're going to be kitted with all the best kit. You're going to know what you're doing and have all those skills in your head. Uh, and when you land, you're going to have some of that with you. In Breakpoint, because it's an RPG tactical shooter, when you start you start with like nothing and you don't know much in your skill points and and it's a little weird it kind of takes you out of that fantasy a little bit but it's understandable because they're trying to mix the two genres and that's just a necessary kind of game design decision in order to add these rpg elements and have them make sense it just doesn't make sense too much from a realism standpoint so that's something that kind of threw me off a little bit 
The next thing that I don't like, once again, going back, is those RPG elements in the tactical shooter. It's cool to collect gear. I love collecting gear. I love getting rare gear. Um, it's just weird when the gear is the same gun, but with a higher item level number or just a different rarity, and it does more damage. Just because from a realism standpoint, an M4 is going to be an M4 and is an M4. It's just an M4. But in Breakpoint, a level 1 M4 is different from a level 4 M4, which is different from a green M4. Uh, so it's a little weird because you're trying to add RPG elements once again to a tactical shooter genre. So they're still perfecting these things in this whole like sub niche of uh, RPG looter shooter. But it's it's it works and it's fine. It's understandable. It's just something that takes me out just a little bit from playing, you know, hardcore games like Sandstorm or Squad or Tarkov and stuff like that. Now, in typical Karma Cup fashion, another thing that kind of annoyed me was the UI. I found the UI to be a little bit overbearing. You've got like your party on the top right, your weapons and stuff and health on the bottom left, your mini map on the right. You got stuff popping up in the center of your screen. You've got your quest on the top left. Um, now you can disable some of this and you can mess around with your HUD, which is what I actually ended up doing. But I just feel like, just from my personal hardcore perspective, not a casual player, I felt like it was too much. Now, later on in the game, uh, we did end up turning off the entirety of the HUD and the game fell off hundred times better uh, once again this is a very personal perspective kind of thing uh, but definitely if you're looking for like a hardcore experience and you're looking at breakpoint and saying ah this looks like an arcade game play the game with no hud and it'll just feel so much better it just feels so much more realistic you just get sucked into that immersion um, and i'm really happy that they at least added the option for players to modify their hud because i'm gonna be playing this game with no hud or very minimal hud because it just looks and feels so much better Finally, the last thing that is not really an issue, but kind of an issue, is difficulty. Now, I'm not sure if they had us playing on, like, the rookie difficulty because, you know, they didn't want us dying while we uh, got footage and they didn't want it to be too hard. Um, but I did find the game to be a little bit too easy. Now, I'm pretty sure that on release, we're going to be able to rank up and just max out that difficulty setting. And that's probably what I'm going to be doing in addition to removing the HUD. Um, but it was a little bit too easy, and I kind of want a challenge in my RPG games. Um, so what we did is we actually ended up, once again, like I said, turning off all the HUD later on in the video, but also we went out and looked for higher level enemies, enemies that were like double our level. We went after like the hardcore mechs and the really difficult enemies, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed those parts of the game because it was a lot like going up against a raid boss, a difficult task that you have to overcome with a group of friends in an RPG game. There's nothing like it where you're communicating and try to take out this boss and enemy and know that you'll get cool rewards at the end. I love that feeling. I love it so much. Um, <laughs> that's something that I get really hyped about, and that's why like looter shooters are really appealing to me because I love that loot uh, dopamine drop right like it's great but that's what we ended up doing we went after the hardest enemies we looked for the most difficult uh, areas to fight in and get the most rewarding loot and that was really fun so i'm hoping that i can jack that difficulty up on release and play against a more challenging ai because it's a lot of fun when you go up against a challenge in this game and you're working as a team like the game is not as easy as you think it, it's punishing getting shot hurts the enemies take a lot of damage um there's a lot of them there's mortars there's bombs there's explosion there's drones that'll hunt you down it's really interesting to see the different kind of mechanics that they have added to this game without making it too bullet spongy or pulling you too far out of that immersion and i just love that added rpg tactical sensation that you get it's a great mix when they're going up against challenging enemies so in conclusion i've talked about a lot of stuff that i liked and a lot of stuff that i didn't like but this was all just from one day of playing the game in a uh, early access build i'm really looking forward to playing this game especially because like when i strip that hud it just feels so goddamn good it just feels great because you can get rid of all that arcadey overbearing like bs off the screen and you can just lock in and zone in and just focus on doing things tactically especially if you get like a good group of players together with the customization in there uh with the difficulty in there and the loot it's just a huge dopamine roller coaster and i think it's going to be a lot of fun this is going to be like one of the more arcadey games that i play but i definitely think it's going to be something that i play on release now speaking of release there's going to be a beta event coming up really soon i'm going to leave a couple of codes up here on the screen to give away uh, if you do end up winning one go ahead and play this weekend let me know what you think of the game in the comments down below and for everyone else watching this video let me know do you think this game looks too arcadey does it look too much like an rpg too much like a tactical shooter personally i think it's hitting a really 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 good zone in between the two and you know this genre will just get revised and perfected over time but it's great to see a push in this direction 
I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. I can't wait to see what's in stock for us for Endgame. And yeah, it'll be a lot of fun to play. And maybe we'll do some viewer sessions and play with viewers and stuff like that. Uh, it's a great change of pace, and I did really enjoy it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate your support. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and a special thanks to my channel members. If you want to support the channel and get up to 20% off my whole game store, check out that blue join button down below. Speaking of game store, you can buy my favorite games and official merch at karmacut.com, so check it out. Looking for more content to watch? Try our last video here or sub on the right for future uploads. Finally, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.